Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! A UKIP candidate for the Welsh Assembly in May has been attacked after accusing Eastern European immigrants in Cardiff of causing, quote, a hygiene problem in the city. Gareth Bennett, who topped the party's and does top the party's list in South Wales Central, and they have a list system in Wales as they do in Scotland, is reported to have made the comments in a newspaper interview. We're joined now from Cardiff by Mr Bennett. Mr Bennett, what is it that you said? Um, well, Andrew, I, um, I alluded to waste problems in the City Road area of Cardiff and I said that um, these had intensified in recent years with the arrival in that area of um, high numbers of Eastern European immigrants and I suggested that the, problems may be connect uh, the problem may be connected with that development in the area. All right, now I've, I see you've, uh, you're our second guest this morning having trouble with mm. a, a, an earpiece, I'll just let... Are you all right now? You got uh, that yeah, back I can, in? Yeah, I, okay. I can hear you now, Andrew. No, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, but you, you said, I think, that, they've, uh, that there's a hygiene problem Mm. What, what is that hygiene problem? Well, it's, ca it's caused um, by lots of black bags being left outside houses. Um, there's lots of anecdotal evidence from residents who've told me about this problem. And on the very day I did the interview, there was a piece in the South Wales Echo, which I hadn't actually seen at the time I did the interview. Here it is, and it, um, it demonstrates again that very problem. You might be able to pick up the large number of black bags that have simply been thrown in the front garden, not on a rubbish collection day. So that's clear evidence. So uh, these are the local residents complaining. That's clear evidence that there is such a problem. And right. of course, of course, once I get, to get into the assembly, then I will be representing the views of these residents. So it seems rather strange uh, the suggestion that I shouldn't be representing their very genuine concerns about this issue. But what evidence do you have that if there is this uh, rubbish problem, if I can put it like that, that it's migrants who are causing it? Well, um, I haven't got any firm evidence to give you now, but if you wish, <coughs> I can come back in a week's time with lots of residents from that area and we can have a talk live on air, if you want, about that problem. Many have connected it um, in talks with me to the Eastern European influx and I'm happy to bring those people into the studio, but the only problem is, Andrew, you might need a bigger studio. In indeed, well, you could say that in general. But would it not have been wise to have checked the evidence first, to have established the evidence before making the uh, accusation where that I, where East European I... migrants have, are causing, quote, a hygiene problem. Wouldn't that have been sensible? Yes, it would have been a very so why sensible, did you do Andrew. It? Well, where would I have cleaned the evidence from? Where is this data kept? Can you tell me what outlet, which council department would tell me the connection between these two issues? There's, well, very, there's, very, there's very clear empirical evidence, Andrew. Fifteen years ago we did not have this level of immigration in the City Road area of Cardiff and we did not have this level of a hygiene problem. That is clear empirical evidence. Why do you think it's East European immigrants that are particularly to blame for this? Because many, many people have told me that this is so. That's why I believe it to be the case. But you haven't yet established in, in, independent evidence, have you? spoken to any of uh, these immigrants who live on these streets, the East European migrants, to see if they are responsible in what they say. Oh, so I go up to them and say, um, please, sir, are you responsible for the black bag problem? What do you think their response to that's going to be? Well, either yes or no, I would have thought. <laughs> and a punch in the face is another possibility. Oh, so they're violent as well as unhygienic? Um, I'm not suggesting that they are endemically, but all I'm suggesting is, uh, well, if you want to do that yourself, Andrew, come down to Cardiff, come to City Road, and then you can ask them and see what the response is. All right. Uh, where do you go from here? Are you, are you now in some trouble with your party? Do they want to um, try I, and remove you from the list? I believe that may be the case, although I don't know. I haven't spoken to anyone from the party today, but I believe that moves may be... They've been be trying to get a hold of you. Well, indeed, but I was coming on here. This was no. My we're very grateful to speak for that. To you. <laughs> All right. Thank you.
Uh, uh, the, the party should realise that, well, they know this, I've sent them a letter today with a draft of a legal letter so that if they try to deselect me without due process, they will face a legal action from me for lost earnings of £300,000. So they are aware of this. Another suggestion I have is if they believe my comments have brought the party into disrepute, we could have a rerun of the um, candidate selection process in which I was elected as the lead candidate by the UKIP party members throughout Wales. If they want to, we can have a rerun of that. Okay. And if the UKIP party members think that my comments are in any way disreputable, they can vote accordingly. Indeed. So it would be interesting to see if we had that rerun ballot where I would place in it. All right. Sounds like you're going to be fighting more among yourselves than for a seat in the Welsh Assembly. Do, is it, the is it true UKIP. that... Um, you don't like knocking on doors, though. Is it true that, that you, don't like, you don't think politicians should knock on doors to get people's votes? Uh, Andrew, lots of people are watching Coronation Street and they don't like to be interrupted from doing that. And what happens with canvassing is you get a lot of skewed results. I've seen lots of candidates campaigning for the first time who get election fever. They come into branch meetings telling us they're going to win the seat and they get 15%. Um, when you knock on people's doors and they're watching Coronation Street, they're liable to tell you that they will vote for you. They're liable to tell okay. you anything to get rid of you. So there is a limited um, scope for canvassing in tight marginal seats. There is, right. some, there is some case for it, but not always. Just finally, Mr. Bennett, are, are you UKIP's new loose cannon? I understand you've described the Labour leader of the Cardiff Council as brain dead. Um, I believe I did say that in the interview, yes, but um, that view is widely held in Cardiff, even within the Labour Party. He's mostly criticised from within his own party, in fact. All right. So you're not wishing to retract that at all? Oh, no, I never retract anything I say publicly, Andrew. Clear. Good. All right. Well, at least it's straightforward. We know where we stand, and you did answer the questions, which yeah. doesn't always happen in this programme. That people, won't happen with me, Andrew. People you will make up their minds answer. whether they like the answers or not, though. Mr Bennett, thank you very much.